morning. Literally just waking up. I thought I would do a day in my life vlog because I wanted to. Yesterday, I misplaced my Icy Hot, which has kind of like been gay, and I need it. So, I'm going to go to the store real quick and get that. Um, this morning, I'm not going to vlog me going to the grocery store because it's just too early and I have to wear a mask. And I'm tired. And I just don't really want to bring a vlog camera into the grocery store that early in the morning. So, I'm pretty sure they're open. Before I go, I need to fix my bed. So I'm going to do that now. And get this day started. This is what I look like going to the store this morning, wearing my mask, I have my sunglasses on, little sun hat, fanny pack, fucking stocks of socks, jackers that really don't fit, and a whole jacket because it's chilly outside. I feel like I've reached new levels, guys. Like. Wow. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the store, pick up my Ben Gay or Icy Hot, whichever one they have. I'm first gonna check my car and see if they have it in the car. But if I don't, then I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I'll be, I'll see you when I get back. Well, just got back from the grocery store. I got my Icy Hot Advanced as well as Starbucks. I haven't had Starbucks in forever. So it's really, really good. But yeah, I thought I would do vlog today because I've been watching like a lot of vlogs slash home decor organizing videos and I've been really liking watching those and I'm like you know what I haven't been consistent the past month. I think three weeks ago I posted a video on my channel and I think it's been about like a month since I posted on my channel and I said I would be very consistent this year but that went out the window with a lot of other things for a lot of other people. So I decided I am going to try to do daily vlogs when I can when I'm doing something interesting and today I'm running I'm not running an errand I'm picking up an item <laughs> that I purchased online I'm doing a curbside pickup which is the life of a lot of us these days so yeah just trying to organize this mess my room is essentially like done. It's not done. I still need a desk from Ikea 
and Ikea is not doing online orders. Like, you can try, but they're like, there's a red error that keeps popping up saying, we have reached our max amount of orders for the day. Please try again tomorrow. And then if you try again at like midnight, like the next day, literally, it says the same thing. So I think until Ikea like opens up to do like curbside pickup type of thing, then I can buy my desk and then I can start hanging my photos, not my photos, my, my pictures, my art. I have on my wall that I want on my wall one of them I want like above my desk but I need my desk there to like make sure it's centered um, and then I also need a chair don't have a chair I'll be right back I need to go with the sponge got a damn sponge all right but yeah my room is coming together I'll show you guys some of the updates that I've made to my bathroom as well as my side table and yeah when I was making those updates yesterday I like I guess my icy hot that I bought before fell into the trash can and I threw it out and I'm not gonna go dumpster diving to get it so I was like I am going to go to the grocery store and buy more icy hot except this time it's advanced so it lasts for hours so i don't have to keep reapplying it whereas the other one was just like the basic icy hot so i'm excited for that anyways i am going to get ready also another reason why i wanted to do these like daily vlogs is because then it like forces me to get ready and like wear actual clothes i mean i'm not wearing a lot of real clothes i'm not gonna be wearing like real real clothes but it'll force me to like not stay in my pajamas all day and also put makeup on because i've been playing with makeup and um the past couple days and i've been really enjoying it so I'm gonna keep up with that trajectory. But yeah, let's get into this makeup. Probably fast forward this bit, but this is me getting ready for a day of work. So. <laughs>
some oatmeal I have some dried wild blueberries peanut butter crunchy with sunflower seeds chia seeds goji berries uh, coconut flakes and some cacao nibs and then I have my celery juice and I'm gonna watch probably a show or maybe just hang out on my phone we'll see Plan of action today, it is currently 8.55 in the morning. I just finished having breakfast and I'm starting watching this show on Netflix called Nadia's Time to Eat, which it has a lot of like quick recipes that I definitely want to try. And yeah, I feel like a lot of them are going to be dairy-free friendly. I mean, obviously I can make them dairy-free friendly on my own, but they seem like very cheap, long-lasting non-time consuming, very fast meals. <sighs> the neighbors who live above me have kids and I believe a dog and it is constantly craziness upstairs. But anyways, I am gonna start work in a couple minutes here with a plan of action is literally just working. <laughs> I am hoping to run a few errands today. I did a order online um, a couple days ago and so they should be ready to be picked 
up today hopefully i should get an email confirmation on that hopefully i have some packages that are getting delivered today as well as some packages that i am going to pick up so i can show you guys but essentially it's just me <laughs> working from home eating and hopefully gonna go on a walk later um trying to get out and like exercise as much as i can i just have hairs I love lip gloss, but hair and lip gloss are real tight. Real, real tight. Anyways, ooh, that's another thing that I can show you. The new additions to my room that make it a little bit more cute. Room is still like a mess, but you know, I feel like you guys can, you can deal with a little bit of mess, right? All right. So update to the room. It's mainly this section over here that is a mess. I really just wanna get the desk here and then I can hang one of my art pieces up there above my desk. And yeah, I like where the mirror is. My bed is nice. I still have linen that is back ordered. So I just have to wait for that to be delivered and then I can get some decorative pillows because this gray with white and black is fine and all, and I have like some brown to break it up, but I'm really trying to get into color and not like be super neutral with everything. Um, the new addition is, let me put this behind here, are these things. I bought this like wooden, whoops. I bought this like wooden um, insert that is tip that typically goes in like your kitchen drawers, and I thought it would be really nice for my side table. So this is like what my side table is currently looking like. I have my lamp, which I cannot link it below because I got it for free um, when I was in college, randomly, and. Yeah. The other insert I bought is like a smaller one and it just holds all my skincare. Then I have my dry brush, my toothbrush. So that is that section done. And then I have obviously my hand soap, this little guy that holds this little penguin that my best friend made for me. And my other best friend did this like cherry blossom okay thing and then I've had this little turtle for years got it in high school and it just holds all my jewelry so I keep it there essentially the bathroom is done at least this area is and then in the like actual bathroom toilets you know stuff for my toilet paper I have like a little basket that's there my speaker my cute little shower curtain and then obviously bathroom is pretty normal standard stuff in here nothing super exciting but yeah that is the update to the room not a lot of stuff i mean my makeup stuff is here on the floor and then i just have random stuff here that would probably go in my desk and then yeah some craft stuff i'm gonna get started on work for the day and i will check in with you guys later i have finished up work for the time being not really i still have a lot more work to do <laughs> but i am going to take a quick break and get my lunch started. It is currently, as always, I never know where my phone is, 12.21. So I am going to make my lunch. Most likely it's gonna be just chicken with some vegetables. I was gonna do some couscous, but I'm thinking I'm not gonna do that. Also, I called earlier, my order is ready for pickup. So I think after I have my lunch and I get a few more things done um, for work, then I will take you guys along with me to go pick up my order and show you what I got. I'm very excited for 
this little haul. pick up my package because it's ready for curbside pickup and I finally reached the point at work to take a break so I'm gonna do that now I'm gonna head out take you guys with me have my mask here and that is the plan wear my little fanny pack have my shorts on and my Birkenstocks <music> Hi, thank you so much. You too. Books, books, and books! I'm so excited to have books that I purchased. Let me make sure those are the right ones. Ooh, damn, that one's, that one's a thick book. All right, I will show you guys when I get home what I got. Time for the grand reveal of books that I got at Barnes & Noble. Let me just take my sunscreen out. So I ordered three books, one of which I was not expecting to be that thick, but damn. Oh, and it kind of got a little ruined, but hey, it's paperback for you. So, okay. Something that I realized about myself is that I do not read enough books by African-American authors or black authors in general and I wanted to fix that so I've been seeing this book here for the longest time and wanted to read it I'm gonna read like the inside to kind of tell you what it's about Young Haram Walker was born into bondage. When his mother was sold away, Haram was robbed of all memory of her, but was gifted with a mysterious power. Years later, when Haram almost drowns in a river, that same power saves his life. This brush with death bursts an urgency in Haram and a daring scheme to escape from the only home he's ever known. So, yeah. This is the dramatic story of an of an atrocity inflicted on generations of women, men, and children, the violent and capricious separation of families, and the war they waged to simply make lives with people they loved. Written by one of today's most exciting thinkers and writers, The Water Dancer is a propulsive, transcendent work that restores the humanity of those from whom everything was stolen. So I got this book, been meaning to read it for a while. I got it at the library, but then I had to return it because I had got three books at the same time and wasn't able to finish it but yeah I read like five chapters of it when I did have it within a matter of like 
less than an hour because it was just so good. I'm really, really excited to get into this book and start reading that. Another book that I got is this one, another African-American author, and it is called Hitting a Straight Lick with a Crooked Stick. And this is so... Hitting on a straight lick with a crooked stick is an, an out, is an outstanding collection of stories that flash with Hurston's biting satiric humor as they share revelations about love and migration, gender, class, racism, and sexism that profoundly reflect African-American folk culture. Brought together for the first time, they, indul they include eight of Hurston's lost Harlem gems, which were found in dusty periodicals and archives. All are timeless classics that enrich our understanding and appreciation of this exceptional writer's voice and her contribution to America's literary traditions. So that is this book. I'm very, very excited to read. This book is about 230 pages long. And this book, I think it's about four. Yeah. Yeah, 403 pages long. And then the final one, because I am a huge sci-fi um, reader. I love sci-fi books. I've read all of the Harry Potter books. I've read all of the Wheel of Time books. If you are into sci-fi, read Wheel of Time. There are 14 books in that series. It is so good. The details, it's its very detailed, so you can really paint a picture of everything that's going on in that book, which is really nice. But I heard Dune. I know that this is being made into a motion picture featuring Zendaya and Timothy Chalamet. So I was curious as to like what this was about. And a friend of mine was telling me to read this book because Every sci-fi person says this is like the best book ever. So this is in a series. So I got the first one and she thick or whatever. <laughs> this book is 884 pages long. And I believe there are six books in this series. I'm pretty sure. Don't fact check me on that, but yeah, this is the first book of the entire series, so I'm really excited to read that, but these are the three books that I ordered off Barnes and Nobles, and yeah, I'm very, very excited to tuck into these books. So that is my book haul but I'm gonna continue working for the rest of the day. I have a few more things that I need to get done and then I will start doing other projects. Once I finish all my tasks for the day, I think I'm gonna try to go to a park because it is really nice weather and I'm just gonna read outside for a bit and then I'm gonna start editing a video because I've been inside all day and I just need to get outside. Actually, my porch is like pretty well lit right now. So I'm gonna work out on my porch. Get some sunshine. I just started watching this new show on Netflix called Sweet Magnolias and guys it's so good. It is properly cheesy, properly corny, very romantic, and like dreamy. So it's like these three best friends that they've been best friends since they were kids in a small town and they're going to try and start a spa together 
and each of them are going through things in their own life that are difficult but it's just like sweet homely and like I don't know and it's proper corny and cheesy and I'm really liking it the acting meh, but it's all right like I'm really I'm on episode two and I'm like I need to I need to watch more um but I'm most likely gonna take a break in a second here and go to a park set down a blanket and read for 30 45 minutes it's currently 604 what time is the sun setting the sun is gonna set at 8 <laughs> 8 17 today dang sun's gonna be out for a while so I'll finish this episode and then I'll head to a park read for a little bit because the sun is like really out and about and I just that heat's gonna be a lot for your girl so I'm gonna get back to watching Sweet Magnolias So I'm just finishing up my skincare for the evening, but I think I'm just going to end the video here because I'm just going to be like editing videos and then trying to upload to YouTube. But yeah, that is the wild night that I have planned. is just to do skincare and edit some videos, upload to YouTube, and then go to bed. <laughs> And that is me done. I'm gonna brush my teeth later. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me till the end of this video. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. Don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. And... <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And yeah, I'll see you for another vlog. Bye. Sure what I see, Cupid, don't me. Oh.
Telling me this is a sign.